Some say sound off. My name is Thomas Reynolds. Welcome to it. And I'm a host of Some Say with Tom and Nikki. And let's get to the sound off. Uh, that's right. Um, Every once in a while, this is kind of, uh, quite honestly, a little creepy for me. I, I, I'm agreeing with Fox News. Usually I think there are a bunch of chicken crap. And usually I would leave the news off Fox News because, like the White House, I think they're an epic. But every once in a while, every once in a rare blue moon, uh, you're right, and they uh, do something outrageous and... You reload with truth. And that's what they did. They reloaded with truth. Um, talking about what Speaker Boner, Speaker of the House Boner, did uh, this week with Prime Minister Netanyahu. But some buddies, right? Uh, bromance. Uh, two prominent Fox News hosts, Chris Wallace and Shepard Smith, harshly criticized Speaker Boner and Prime Minister Netanyahu on Friday for secretly arranging a Netanyahu speech to Congress that is transparently aimed at undermining President Obama. I know, it, it's it's even hard and even a little, oh, I don't know. Creepy! To read, because you don't usually hear a transparent attack against President Obama and Fox News being pissed off about it in the same sentence, right? But I'm going to play you a video in a moment with the proof of that, and on the link below you could find the full video, but I have a little bit of it for you to be able to take a look at and it's just astonishing now they might be mad at speaker uh boner for winning and speaker gomert not happening or speaker yoho somebody that they they could work with in a right-wing hate but this is rare and to the point where in the longer portion of the video, Shepard Smith was asking, you know, do you think they might actually not have this happen because of all the backlash? Really? <laughs> that much backlash? Make it not happen? Make Republicans not do something? Man, if we could only get things like that to happen with, oh, I don't know, Keystone XL and all the crappy jobs bills that aren't jobs bills that are, you know, Republican giveaways that happen. If only that kind of outrage, the real outrage, not manufactured outrage, would happen on Fox News more, maybe the White House would call them a real news organization. Here's the clip. You a sense. I happened to be at the White House on Wednesday when Boehner announced that he had invited and that Netanyahu had accepted this, and a top White House official was flabbergasted, said that we got no advance warning. We found out about it, we, them, and the White House, when Boehner announced it to the press. And to make you get a sense of really how, forgive me, wicked this whole thing is, the Secretary of State, John Kerry, met with the Israeli ambassador to the United States for two hours on Tuesday. And Ron Dermer, the Israeli ambassador, according to the State Department, never mentioned the fact that Netanyahu was in negotiations and finally agreed to come to Washington, not to see the president, but to go to Capitol Hill, speak to a joint session of Congress and criticize the president's policies. I, I have to say I'm shocked. 